San Antonio has distinguished themselves atop the Western Conference by two games. Brooklyn follows suit, and they lead the East by four games. It seems that we've had a couple more injuries as Terry Rozier and Gary Harris have both got season-ending injuries, and Brandon Ingram got an injury keeping him out for four to six weeks. By mid-February, Brooklyn is now six and a half games atop of the East with Milwaukee in second, Philly in 15th. Then, by mid-February, the MVP race sees Joel Embiid now in first, with an averaging 30 points, averaging 30 points, with Giannis in second, Luka in third, Harden in fourth, and LeBron James in fifth. Large setback as 17th pick Shea Gildas Alexander is out for for four to six weeks with a severe ankle sprain. Also, Kevin Durant back in action for New Orleans coming back from his left hand fracture. By March, the Thunder had the worst record at 12 and 30. The Nets had the best at 33 and 8. Spurs are close second with 30 and 10. Then Sacramento in third with 27 and 15. And the latest victim of the injury bug is Zach Levine, out for two to four months with a broken ankle. By mid-March, nothing much has changed. The Nets, Nets are 10 games top of the East, with the Spurs two and a half games top. It's almost certain now that, that Embiid's going to win the MVP with Harden third, Harden second, Ben third, Giannis fourth, and LeBron fifth. By April, the Nets have an 11 game gap at, at a 43 and 12 record. Kings have retaken the top spot in the West by 1.5 games. Phoenix have also entered the race at two games back. Catastrophe Joel Allen Bede has broken his leg and is out for six to eight weeks after being first in the MVP race for the last two months. In mid-April, while the Nets have slipped, they still hold a 9.5 game lead at the top, the Knicks second to Boston and Detroit. The Wizards are bottom, but the Hornets have massively fell on an 8-game losing streak, winning one of their last 10 games. Find this with the rest of the bottom teams doing well over the last 10 games. The Hornets slipped to 14th in the East. The West sees Sacramento hold a 1.5 game lead over Phoenix and San Antonio, all on win streaks in the Thunder are still miles in last. This is awkward. With Charlotte's recent stumbles and his injury, Embiid has been kicked out of the top five entirely, with Giannis storming into the lead. James Harden is in second, Cat in third, LeBron fourth, and Jimmy Butler in fifth, with Bam once again out of the list. There has been no more significant injuries for now. In May, Sacramento and Brooklyn charge ahead as they are both the first two teams to qualify for the postseason. Brooklyn, 13 and a half games out of second place. Boston and Sacramento, three and a half games up on San Antonio and Phoenix. And, and in, the injury bug is not very nice to Philadelphia as it sends Jason Tatum out for six to eight weeks. It sets Moses Brown out for the season. May now, and while Brooklyn have been crowned champions of the East, the Bucks have come back, had an eight game win streak, and are now in third, half a game back on Boston. New York has followed the fifth in the Boston Battle of the Basement, seeing Charlotte overtake Washington for 14th. No more teams have qualified for the playoffs in the East, while San Antonio, Phoenix, and the LA teams have all done in the West. Sacramento is now seven games up on San Antonio and Phoenix. 
Giannis is now well and truly first in the MVP race. James Harden and Jimmy Butler are both out of the top five, being replaced by Jokic in second and Bam in fifth. LeBron overtakes Carl Anthony Towns for third. And Nikola Vucevic, Nikola Vucevic, Keon Johnson, and Carl Sexton all miss the rest of the regular season with injuries. The madhouse of the season is now over, and here are the standings. Uh, the Nets, first in the East, Bucks second, Boston third, New York fourth, Atlanta fifth, Miami sixth, Pacers seventh, Pistons eighth, Raptors ninth, Bulls tenth, Magic eleventh, Cavs twelfth, thir um, Hornets thirteenth, Sixers fourteenth, and Wizards fifteenth. And in the West, Kings first, Spurs second, Suns third, Clippers fourth, Lakers fifth, Timberwolves sixth, Pelicans seventh, Jazz eighth, Portland ninth, Warriors tenth, Mavs eleventh, Rockets twelfth, thirteenth Nuggets, Grizzlies fourteenth, and Thunder in fifteenth. I know there's only six matches on the screen, but of course there's eight for the first round, and they are as follows: Kings Jazz, Clippers Lakers. Suns Timberwolves, Spurs Pelicans, Nets Pistons, Knicks Hawks, Celtics Heat, and Bucks versus the Pacers. That will do it for part two. A trailer for part three will be released tomorrow. And will be released before the end of the day today. And that and tomorrow we will release the playoffs. So I am hoping to see you then.